Hello world! Today we are going to take a look at a tool that will help even us gals with hooded eyes get a winged liner. Hey everybody, Shelly here, and today I'm going to share with you a little tool that I originally found on Stephanie Lang's channel. Love her! It is the Cat Eyeliner Stencil from Beth Bender Beauty. Now this little doohickey here is a savior for those of us that have hooded lids, hooded eyelids, and have trouble drawing a cat eye or a winged liner due to either the hood of our eyes or if you've got deep set eyes and a crease that comes quite far down like I do and I've got both, it can be really hard to get a winged liner in the traditional method that you always see on YouTube. Everybody seems to have such an easy time with winged liner, but I used to think, why do I have such trouble? I just must be unable to do this. But really, I've got some complicating factors. I have hooded eyes. There's extra skin that, that comes down and, and covers my eyelid. I've got very deep and low creases on the sides of my eyes. So the spot where the wing is supposed to go, there's a crease cutting it off. And you will find all kinds of tutorials that show you how to like end up drawing what I call like a like a dolphin tail or a whale tail on your eye to sort of cover that crease and go over it so that when you're looking straight on, the wing looks normal, but when you look down, you see a whale tail on your eyes. And I do that sometimes too. But when I found these stencils, what I found was that they allow me to basically put a sort of a template of the wing onto my eye so that I no longer have to worry about freehanding over that crease because it's a bump. It's like a, it's a bump in a crevice. And when you freehand over it, at least when I freehand over it, I, I don't get a straight line and it just looks bad. It looks amateurish. It just looks bad. So when I found these stencils, I was really excited. Stephanie Lang tried them. She made it look so easy. She has fantastic tutorials on her channel for people with hooded eyes. So if you do deal with these these um, complications, check out Stephanie Lang's channel and she has a whole set of playlists dedicated to tutorials for people with hooded eyes. Uh, but this particular tool is the winner. Now this stencil is made of soft plastic. Um, it reminds me, and I'm totally gonna date myself here, but do you guys remember Shrinky Dinks? Like they'd be this plastic and you would kind of color on the plastic and then you'd put them in the oven and they would bake and harden up into these solid... They really weren't safe for young children to be using. But anyway, that's what we did as kids. I ate dirt, man. I ate dirt. So it's really soft plastic. I hope you can see that I'm like bending it. Uh, and that makes it really easy to conform to the shape of your face so that you can hold the stencil in place while you are drawing in with shadow. Now they do recommend you use eyeshadow with these and not liner. I have not tried it with liner. So what I end up doing is I use a dark shadow and then I trace over it with my liquid liner. They do very nicely give you enough room on either side of the stencil to be able to hold it against your eye pretty easily. I have no trouble with this. And quite honestly, every wing I have made, even the very first wing I made with these has turned out nice. So. I love these things, love them. So I'm gonna show you guys how to get a winged liner like this with the Beth Bender Beauty Cat Eye Liner Stencil. Let's put on some eyeliners. So what you're gonna need in order to apply your liner with these uh, Beth Bender Beauty Cat Eye Stencils is your stencil. You will need a flat shadow brush. Now this is the flat shadow brush from Wet n Wild, which I like. It's the larger of the two. You can use any flat shadow brush that you would like. And some eyeshadow in the color that you would like your liner. Now you could just do the liner with eyeshadow and leave it at that. 
Um, I like to use the powder to draw the line and then set it with my liquid liner. So if you plan to use liquid liner, you'll need that as well. Um, this is the Physician's Formula 2-in-1 Eye Booster Serum Liner. I think it is a total dupe for the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. Uh, I really like it. Um, the black shadow I'm going to be using is the Kat Von D from her Interstellar palette. And you can use any shadow that you like. I would recommend one that is super pigmented. The reason I like to use Kat Von D's dark shadows, I use her black shadows, uh, she's got one in the Monarch palette too, um, is because they go on, I can just lightly tap, tap, tap in the stencil and the color is down, I'm done, and I can remove the stencil and that's it. I don't have to rely on holding the stencil in place while I get my shadow to lay down because part of the reason I need these stencils is because I'm clumsy and if I move my hand just the tiniest bit while I'm doing this, you mess up the whole thing. So I want to be able to do it as quickly and easily as possible. So that's what I am using. So get your black shadow, your stencil, your flat eyeshadow brush, and if you would like, some liquid liner. Zoomed in. Hello. <laughs> So we are going to use our stencil. One stencil will cover both eyes. Uh, you'll use it on the one eye and then you will flip it over and use it on the other eye. And the position where you place the center of the stencil and the curve at which you place the right hand or left hand corner of the stencil is going to determine how big or wide or thick your winged liner is going to be. Now I have found that no matter how wide or thin I make it, it turns out good every time. I have never not liked the wing that I've gotten from this stencil. So uh, it's really going to be personal preference on your part as to how wide or thick you make that wing. So I'm going to position the stencil on my eye. You want your eyelashes to poke through the stencil and position it wherever you would like it. Now, I like to position the inner corner first and then move the outer corner to wherever I would like the edge of this wing to end up. And I try to use my eyebrow as a guide. And I like to do it a little bit thinner of a wing because I do have hooded eyes. And when you close your eyes, it's also gonna get a tiny bit thicker. So you want to position the wing in the corner with your eyes open, but you're going to have to close your eyes in order to do this. So position the right hand or the outside corner with your eye closed. And you're going to want to hold it down on both sides. So I do it like so. Get your shadow brush. Tap into your shadow. And go to town. Now this is why I like Kat Von D's because I can do this pretty quickly. I don't have to hold this in place super long. And once you've covered the whole thing, especially make sure you get that wing, remove the stencil. And there you go. Now you could leave it as eyeshadow and I would say if you're doing that, make sure you have a primer underneath. Um, but in my case, I like to just use this as my, my stencil, my template, my guide. And then I go over it with liquid liner. Shake it up, shake it up, baby. Now shake it up, baby. Twist and shout, twist and shout. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, baby. Now, I don't know what's happening. So I'm just going to trace over this with my liquid liner and that will be that. Now, when you look at my eyes, do you see how I've got the hood that cuts right through that wing? But because the shadow has covered that crease, I have a perfect line to draw over and trace over and end up with a good looking wing. So it makes me very happy. It makes me very, very happy. It also lets you be a little less precise because you're tracing something and you don't have to think so hard. And it's so nice not to have to think so hard. All right, this is the hard part. Whew, breathe. You're going to have to think now.
Do you ever draw in your eye like I just did? Do it all the time. Occasionally stop, look up, look at yourself straight on in the mirror and make sure that you've filled in any gaps if you've got hooded eyes. Uh, this one is just falling in a beautiful place. I'm very happy with where this wing came. Now, if you find that it's too thin of a wing, like if you drew it thinner than you wanted to, and you, to fix that, in the first place, you would have held the stencil slightly higher on the outside corner, and that would have made it a thicker wing at the bottom here. Um, but you can always modify the shape, and I find it to be much easier to modify a good starting shape than it is to freehand, um, because I can't draw to save my life. See how much easier that is? Oh, love it. I'm going to go off camera and do the other eye and be right back. There you go. Winged liner for those of us with hooded eyes or an unsteady hand or can't draw to save our lives. Wait, I'm just describing myself. Now, of course, those of us that have hooded eyes or have a lot of crepiness in the skin of our eyes going on as we get a little bit older, there are some truths maybe sad truths but truths nonetheless that we do have to just accept and move on those being things like from straight on a traditional wing just doesn't work we need to accommodate the hood we need to accommodate deeper creases and that just is how it how it is these days once you get to this point that's what you got to live with so straight on when people look at us we're not going to have the absolute perfectly gorgeous wing that everybody seems to be able to get except me but really it's not any fault of your own and is not a bad thing we just have to work around it we have to deal with the fact that when we want a thick wing across our eye the liner part of the wing the inside eyelid portion of the liner if you've got very severely hooded eyes and you go with a thick liner you're not going to see a whole lot of your eye shadow when you're looking at somebody straight on that just is how it is and these things, while they might not be ideal if you're if you're not happy about them, I'm not very happy about them. I've been wearing winged liner for 20 years, and the fact that my eyes are changing now is incredibly disconcerting to me. However, I'm finding ways to get around these problems. I'm finding ways to just accept them as they are. The fact that my liner is going to look quite black and heavy when I'm looking straight on and not much of my lid shadow is going to show. Oh well. I've noticed that when you talk to people, a lot of times you're blinking and your eyes are open and closed and you're looking down and you're looking around and people are going to see my eyeshadow, so I'm not really worried about it. I can deal with that. I can live with that. That's fine. I'm not giving up my wing. So these stencils are allowing me to continue to wear winged liner and that's really all I want at this point in time. Maybe eventually I'm going to have to give it up. Maybe my eyes will get so crepey and droopy and creased that I won't be able to pull this off anymore. But I will cross that bridge when I get there. And until then, I'm rocking the winged liner. Hope you guys found this helpful. If you're interested in these Beth Bender Beauty Cat Eye stencils, check them out online. They really have... I was going to call them a lifesaver. Okay, that's an exaggeration. They have not saved my life, but they have saved my wing, and that's pretty cool. If you'd like to see more of these product tryouts, give me a thumbs up below. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I thank you guys for taking a little bit of time out of your day to geek out with me over makeup and things. Hope you all have a great week. Take care of each other. Bye-bye.